In a previous video, we filmed the 15 meter Sictaman Libertas, a user-friendly, sporty yacht packed full of high-tech equipment. Today, though, we're looking at Sictaman's slightly larger model, a 19 meter yacht called Just the Two of Us, starting once again with just how easy she is to operate. The first big difference with this yacht is that she has two helm stations, one inside and the other on the flybridge. Our captain for the day, Luik, started by pressing the sailing button on the inside dashboard and then activating the gyroscopic stabilizers. It takes about 30 minutes for these to reach speed. On this yacht, both the engine and the generator starter buttons are on the dashboard. So at this point, we fired them up. Remember to disconnect the shore cable, retract the passerelle, release the stern lines, release the bow lines. And on this yacht, Luik took control from the flybridge. He did this by pressing the active button on the throttle control twice, with the throttles in neutral. Just the two of us has two Cummins engines of 550 horsepower each, with inline shafts and propellers. Aided by a bow thruster and a stern thruster, she really is a very agile yacht, and Louis carefully edged us out of our berth and out of the port. Once outside, he brought the fenders in, and we were soon cruising to our favourite bay, close to Villefranche. I really need to talk for a moment about the performance of this yacht because it would be easy to confuse it with the many composite production planing yachts that are on offer. First of all, she's not of composite construction. Sictimum build with aluminium. Secondly, she's not a planing yacht. She has what's called a fast displacement hull designed by world-renowned naval architects, Banu Sanon. Just to explain the difference, a planing hull is designed so that as the yacht picks up speed, the bow lifts and then the rest of the hull lifts so that the whole yacht is on the plane, as they say, with the least part of the hull possible touching the water. That's great for top speed, but it does make for quite a bumpy ride when you hit the waves. On the other hand, Vanu Sanon's fast displacement hull is designed so that the yacht will go as fast as the laws of physics will allow, but without the whole hull lifting up out of the water. So you don't have to get quite as high a top speed, but you get a tremendously comfortable ride, and still the yacht will do a very respectable top speed of about 20 knots. The Sictaman also has a fixed appendage under the hull, again designed by Vanu Sanon, and it's called a hull vane. Now what this does is provide a tiny little bit of lift just enough to give a 20% improvement to fuel efficiency, which of course translates into greater range. But it also reduces the pitch motion of the yacht by 15%. Once again, enhancing the comfort on board. And so it was that in great comfort, we arrived in Villefranche where we dropped the anchor giving us the opportunity to take a look at the yacht's interiors. Just the two of us has three cabins for six guests, and I'd forgotten how glorious the full beam master stateroom is, benefiting, of course, from an ensuite bathroom too. Forward is a comfortable VIP stateroom a separate bathroom and a guest cabin to port with two separate bunks. The galley is on this deck as well and by designing it this way, Sictaman have been able to provide a very spacious and well-equipped area. Up a few steps and we have the helm station to port, a bar and a wine fridge to starboard and a cosy, well-lit lounge that opens up to the aft deck. The 
four deck benefits from inviting sunbeds with holders for your bottle of chilled rosé and glasses. And the flybridge is a lovely area to enjoy a quiet afternoon, enjoying the sea air and beautiful views. Well, with this video of just the two of us and the previous video of the Sictum and Libertas, I did want to show you how very user-friendly these yachts are. But I also wanted to explain something about the Sictum and brand to you. You see, it's easy to take a cursory glance at this boat and to say there is such a big choice out there of yachts in the 19, 20 meter size range. In a sense, you'd be right, it is a very crowded marketplace. But in another sense, there's very little competition to this yacht out there indeed. Find me, if you can, another yacht of this size built in northern Europe from aluminium with a fast displacement hull and finished to this level of quality. If that prospect appeals to you, then you owe it to yourself to find out more about this yacht. And you can do that by contacting my colleague Sebastian Clavet at the email address shown on screen now.